Rose's Cafe. Uh, today we're going to make a popular Chinese American dish uh, called orange chicken. Now orange chicken is originally a Chinese dish. Uh, however in China it's referred to as old peeled chicken because in China the traditional method of making this dish involves using dried orange peel which uh, the Chinese use in traditional medicine as well as cooking. Uh, here in the Western Hemisphere, to appeal more to uh, Western taste, uh, instead of dried orange peel, uh, fresh orange peel is used. And in this recipe, we're going to use the orange zest, which is not quite the same thing as orange peel. And we're going to make it a little sweeter. So traditionally, the Americanized version of orange chicken has a sweet chili sauce uh, that's used to coat and caramelize uh, fried chicken pieces. So the first thing we're going to have to do is make our sauce. We're going to deal first with the orange peel. Actually the recipe calls for orange zest. Now the zest of an orange is the outside layer of a peel that can be grated off very gently like this. You don't want to get down into the white undershot of the peel. You're going to want a couple of tablespoons of this zest. So there's um, our zest, that's about a tablespoon or a little more, and that will be enough. I grated pretty much the skin of the whole orange to get that, and notice that I grated off only the orange outer coating. I didn't get into the thicker, pulpy, uh, white coating of the orange peel. That's bitter and you don't want that. In addition to using the zest from this orange, I'm also going to use the, the juice of this orange. The recipe asks us for two tablespoons of orange juice, and we'll get that easily and probably more. Next thing we're going to need to prepare is uh, some minced uh, fresh ginger root and some minced garlic. Lastly, we'll need to chop up some green onion. In order to make the sauce, first we're going to add the wet ingredients. That would be a cup and a half of water, our orange juice from earlier, lemon juice, rice vinegar, soy sauce. We're going to start that on medium-high heat for just a minute. And as this is heating up, we're going to add our solid ingredients, except for the cornstarch. This would be the ginger, the crushed red pepper, the orange zest, the garlic, and the green onions. In addition to that, we're going to add brown sugar, half a cup. Now we're going to let this heat up until it boils and blends together well. Now our sauce has been brought to a boil and the sugar is dissolved, so we're going to cut the heat on this and we're going to set it aside to cool for a while while we turn our attention to the chicken. For the chicken here, I have two boneless, skinless chicken breast halves and I'm going to cut those into bite-sized pieces and place them in this plastic bowl here. Now we have the chicken all cut up in the bowl and the sauce that we just made has cooled off somewhat so I'm going to add one cup of that sauce to the bowl here 
and we're saving the rest of the sauce for use later. We want to stir it around to make sure the chicken all gets coated well. Now we want to cover this bowl and we want to refrigerate it for at least two hours. Now our chicken's been marinating in the sauce in the refrigerator for a couple hours. So now it's time to remove the chicken from the sauce here and add it to a bowl of flour to bread it. Now in this bowl I've put a cup of all-purpose flour and about a quarter teaspoon of salt and pepper uh, basically to taste. And I'm going to use a slotted spoon to drain and move the chicken pieces from the bowl with the sauce or the marinade into the bowl with the flour. Once that's accomplished, probably the easiest way to get the chicken all coated is to cover it with a tight fitting lid and shake it. Just be sure your lid's good and tight or you'll wind up with a mess. Now that looks pretty good. It's time to get the olive oil going. Once the oil is hot, you want to add your chicken piece by piece and you want to fry it until it's a nice golden brown. You want to do this a few pieces at a time because it's not going to take long for the chicken to cook. When your chicken is done, remove it to a plate lined with a paper towel to help absorb the grease. And now it's time to start working on the sauce. So here's our sauce. This is what was left after we took out a cup for the marinade. And I'm going to bring it to a boil. And I'm going to use the same pot that we originally had it in rather than switching to the skillet as the recipe says. I think that'll just be a little easier and there'll be plenty of room in the pot for the chicken once we add it. Once you bring your sauce to a boil, you want to begin to add the cornstarch. Three tablespoons of cornstarch mixed in just a little bit of water, a little at a time. And you want to keep that moving with a whisk to make sure the cornstarch doesn't clump up. Don't add the cornstarch directly to the sauce. It'll just turn into a bunch of lumps and it'll be really difficult to deal with. Once your cornstarch has been added and blended in well, the sauce will thicken up. And then it's time to add the chicken back. Turn your heat down just a bit just to keep it simmering. And stir the chicken to coat. With our orange chicken done, we'll just make some rice to go with it now. First to plate it up, we'll make a nice bed of steamed rice on the plate. And on top of the bed of rice, we add the chicken. That's Rose's orange chicken. Dinner is served. Thanks for stopping in. Come back and see us next time here at Rose's Cafe. Bye now.